I'm Bob, and with me is Jack, Senior Engineer at Allied Edison. Welcome to the Allied Edison ZX3 DC Ground Fault Detection and Location Equipment video. Please tell us more about the ZX3. Z stands for impedance, X stands for multiplication, and 3 stands for location methods. The ZX3 is designed with the 21st century digital technology and employs three location methods built into one unit, fast locate, precise locate, and intermittent. This is the only equipment on the market with multiple location features and is unique to the ZX3. By the way, you will be hearing me say that a lot. Why are there three different location methods and what are the differences? Allied Edison wanted to design a unit that could find grounds under any conditions. The fast locate mode can be used to find grounds in low capacity environments. In these conditions, grounds can be located very quickly and accurately. The precise locate mode can be used to find grounds in low to high capacitive environments with extreme precision. Each of these modes can be used to confirm the readings of the other. Allied Edison also wanted to be the first to have a method to locate perhaps the hardest ground of all to find in intermittent ground. So two other operating modes, a detect analyze mode and a self test mode for a total of five operating modes. What types of grounds could you find with fast locate and precise locate? We can find grounds that are on the positive rail, the negative rail, on both rails simultaneously, in a field device, battery bank, or solar array. This is true regardless if they are high resistance or low resistance. A unique feature is that we can literally clamp around a conduit or flex to see a grounded conductor with as little as 1.5 milliamps of current. That means to the technician that he would not have to open conduits junction box covers, etc. A large bundle of cables can be checked together in a single clamping action. To be able to see 0.0015 amps through a conduit or bundle of cables greatly speeds up the location effort and is absolutely amazing performance. So Jack, you can find grounds in low or high capacitive environments. You can detect them even by clamping around a conduit, flex, or a bundle of cables, and it doesn't matter which rail they're on, even on both rails. You can use one method to confirm the other method, and you can even detect and locate intermittent grounds. Is that correct? That is correct, Bob, but there's much more. Let's talk about the detect analyze mode for a minute. Allied Edison wanted to provide the user with as much information as possible to analyze the ground condition. There are four LEDs that provide instantaneous information that illuminate the moment a ground is detected. One for a ground on the positive rail, one for a ground on the negative rail, one for a solid ground, and one for a battery or solar array ground. If you have a ground on the positive and the negative rail, both LEDs will illuminate. The machine will also calculate and display the resistance values of the ground. A unique feature with the ZX3 is that it can identify a ground in a battery bank or solar array and pinpoint its location without even the need to trace it. It will also provide various voltage measurements and network resistance values of multiple grounds, another unique feature to the ZX3. That is absolutely incredible, Jack. So the ZX3 provides all relevant and credible data to the user necessary to analyze any ground condition? You are correct again, Bob, but there is still more. Since capacitance is a barrier using contemporary equipment, how does the technician know how much capacitance is on the system he is troubleshooting? Good question, Jack. That I do not have the answer for. He will not know unless he has a ZX3. The Allied Edison unit calculates and displays the system capacitance values as Cs in microfarads, which is another unique feature. Some other unique features of the ZX3, Bob, are it displays various messages to the user, it has data logging capabilities to a flash drive with time and date stamps provided from an internal clock. 
The tracer has an initializing program that verifies all three base colors and intensity are correct and all LEDs are functional. It is designed to be as lightweight and portable as possible, including a magnetic strap to hang the unit at eye level and a back stand on the cases. There is a demo mode that can be used for training purposes. The green LEDs at the base of the arc on the tracer represent the unit locking onto the tracing signal. Blue means no signal lock. These are the main features, but there are also many more. I'm extremely impressed. It seems the ZX3 is clearly the top of the line model in the industry worldwide. A real must have for any industry using ungrounded DC systems. Well, there is one more exciting feature, Bob. Anyone who purchases a unit becomes a member of the Allied Edison Users Group. Since our units are programmable, occasionally there are software updates where a user can go into the website and download the latest software onto his machine. Also, we are hoping that users will post their ground troubleshooting experiences that we can share with all users. If anyone has a request to enhance the units or custom programming, there will be a process for that. The goal is to establish a networking community so everyone can learn best practice troubleshooting techniques instead of operating on silos. Jack, the industry has needed a tool like this for many years. I would expect a system operator would immediately deploy ground location efforts after the first ground occurred, knowing they have a ZX3 in their toolbox. Can you elaborate on the financial aspects of purchasing a ZX3? Yes, Bob. As I said earlier, the range for contemporary rudimentary location devices is 3,000 to 15,000. With the ZX3, you're basically getting three location devices built into one unit, plus a multitude of extras that work in concert with each other, providing the best ground location outcome. It is literally the difference between a Volkswagen and a space shuttle. The Allied Edison machine is very modestly priced in comparison to a unit with only one location mode. By the way, all Allied Edison ground equipment is manufactured and patented in the United States. Jack, is it true that Allied Edison will do on-site demonstrations of the ZX3? Also on-site training? Yes, if you want an on-site demonstration or need training, please call the Allied Edison number or shoot us an email and we will get it scheduled. Bob, let's tune into an actual on-site class demonstration using the ZX3 to locate a simulated water intrusion ground. Uh, hello there, I thought I'd spend a few minutes and discuss the uh, circuit setup that we have uh, in this demo. Uh, on this side we have a battery uh, which we're simulating using our VS3 power supply unit. Um, we've got a ZX3 system that includes both a base and a tracer unit, the two handheld instruments uh, sitting in the middle of the setup. And we've got the ZX3 tied from the positive rail to the negative rail uh, as uh, generated by our VS3 battery simulated. Um, and then we have two branch circuits and you'll see in the, uh, in the video that there is, uh, they're labeled branch one and branch two. We've got a relay device uh, terminating each one of the branches. Uh, those are about a 2K line-to-line -line, uh, termination. So that's our setup, and um, on with the demo.
Jack, I want to thank you for introducing this incredibly colossal leap in DC ground fault detection and location equipment. I'm guessing that if you can't find a ground with this equipment, then it cannot be found. And for our viewers, remember this. The station system, protection tripping, permissive circuits, breaker close and open controls, status and indication circuits are all only as good as the ungrounded DC system that feeds them.